Hey everyone, okay, so today we're talking Merit. Now this is a company and a brand that I had not heard of um, until about a week ago. So I ordered a good amount of their products because I had a feeling that I would probably love them, and I do. So I've used these once to test, and now we're gonna do them, and I'm gonna show you. So let's make a start. Okay, so the first thing I got is Great Skin Instant Glow Serum. And I've only used this once, but it seems very nice. It is a, you can't see. Anyway, it's a liquidy product. And I'm just gonna smooth it all over my face. And I use two pumps and it does impart a slight glow to the skin. There's no doubt. It's sort of, I would say it's like an oil and water emulsion. Um, very hydrating to the skin. So let's start with the complexion. So this is the complexion stick, minimalist. And it is a concealer and or foundation. So what I'm gonna do, still got that barnacle here, that big old spot. I'm gonna just stripe on dots of it. And just to show you, barely anything touched there from that. I'm then gonna take a brush and I'm gonna blend this into the skin. Now the shade I used here was Bisque um, and it's a pretty good match, pretty good match. I'm just gonna blend this all over the skin. Now this is a very lightweight foundation concealer. It is very, it's not sheer, but it's very, very lightweight. Now you can build up the coverage, but that kind of defeats the purpose of this product, which really is just to even out the skin tone. And you know, that is the goal of a foundation at the end of the day is to even out the skin tone. But we can use a touch more. So on the barnacle, I'm just gonna add a touch more and then just pat that in with my finger and we're done, pretty much done. It just smooths things over. It blends so well, that product, by the way, so well. So next I'm gonna use this contour or bronzer stick and it comes in your standard sort of twist up. And I'm gonna place this along the sides of the temples and I'm gonna go down the sides of the nose. Now again, you'll see it's really, really sheer, really sheer. And I've now removed that concealer due to the pressure of the brush, but I can go back in in a minute. But it adds warmth without adding too much color. So there is a real sheerness about all of these formulas. There really is. Blend that little bit of color down the sides of the nose. When I was looking at this, I was just thinking to myself, I know I'm gonna love it, I know I'm gonna love it. I bought them all by the way, it's nothing sponsored. So this is Flush Balm in Stock, Stockholm, and it is a balmy blusher. And I'm gonna dot this onto my cheeks, my forehead, and a bit on the nose. And then I'm gonna just lightly pat it into the skin. And this is a balm and it is absolutely exquisite. Now, obviously at the moment, there's a lot of shine going on and that can be distracting, but we will deal with that in a bit. The balm for me, it is it's so beautiful. It's also nine grams of product in here, which is really quite, quite lovely. Um, I'm gonna go in with the brow now and I'm going to just run this through the brows, just to give them a little bit of a groom. And on the other side, this is a good color. What color is this? Blonde, really good, really, really, really good. So let's do a little bit of highlights, even though we've got a lot of shine going on. So here it is. And this again has that balm texture to it where it really just leaves behind just sheerness, just beautiful, highlighted sheerness to the skin. 
And I'm going to just go back in really delicately and just get rid of that little spot. Okay, so we've pretty much done complexion. One thing to note here is you could actually just run that blusher balm over the lips for just a small amount of color. So I also picked up some eyeshadows. Now these are cream eyeshadows. They're almost like a gel liner. And we're gonna do an eye, why not? Actually, before we do an eye, let's take down some of the shine because it is quite distracting. So let's just take down some of the shine in the center of the face because I'm not a fan of it there but I like it around the rest of the face. So I'm gonna go down the sides here by the nose and just underneath the eyes. And I'm gonna take down a little bit here. And the same thing on the other side, uh, underneath the eyes. And I'm just gonna go over the eye as well, since we're gonna be doing a bit of eyeshadow. But that to me, I like that finish because then I've got all this lovely shine around the outside corner, but nothing face on. Okay, so I'm gonna use these two shades here and they're quite similar, but they'll add a good tone on tone. So this shade here is called Studio and this one is called Mid-Century. So Studio and Mid-Century. So we'll take the lighter one, which is Studio, and I'm gonna take a brush and I'm just gonna kind of swirl it into the product and tap it off on the back of my hand. And with a tissue, I'm gonna line it up. And what I'm gonna do is just apply this across the eyelid from lash line. And then I'm gonna knock off any excess right the way up all throughout the entire eye. So right the way from lash line, all the way to the tail of the brow. Lovely. Okay, now I'm gonna take the mid-century color. Same principle, I'm gonna apply a little bit to the brush. Now I'm gonna take that same tissue, but this time I'm going to apply it just to the outside third, or the outside corner just to add a bit of depth just to this outside edge and then take my finger and just lightly blend it. And that just adds a little bit of depth on this outside corner. I'm just gonna clean up this lash line with a touch of that stick. Okay, so I've just cleaned up the outside corner. It just sharpens it, but this is just a quick and easy way. And to finish off, I'm going to use the clean mascara and we'll give this a little go. Oh, I hate, hate doing mascara on myself. I'm no good at it, but there we go. I'm always terrified I'm gonna poke myself in the eye. And honestly, I do a lot. I really do when I'm doing this. On you, not so much, but on myself, often. There we go, just did it then. It's a nice mascara, it's quite subtle. It's no thickening, there's no clumpiness. It's just, it's just very nice, very nice. Clean that off. And finally, there I also got in Torp a kind of lip oil. Now I will apply this. I'm not a fan of putting lipstick or things like that on my face because it just freaks me out. I'm so used to doing eye work, but just really uncomfortable, but it looks quite sheer. It is sheer, it's lovely. That's talk. I'm actually just gonna swatch that onto the back of my hand for you, just so you can have a quick look. That's talk there. It's really nice. Here's a funny story before we finish. A while ago, a um, company wanted me, I wanted to do some work with me, and they wanted to do it for lipsticks, and I pushed back on it because I really don't feel comfortable wearing lipstick. And um, they really wanted it anyway. So I did the work for the company and I sent it all over. And then they were kind of like, yeah, you're right. 
probably best you don't use the lipsticks. And I was like, I know, because it just doesn't work with me. They're just not for me. They're really not. And the company was like, yeah, you're right. It's best we don't do it. I just look like Kenny Everett. If you are of a certain age and from the UK, you'll know who that is. There we go. So that is Merit. It's very nice. It's really, really nice. It's really, really nice. It's sheer. It's natural. The eyeshadow, by the way, is really, really good. It is very long wearing. There is a slight amount of tugging to it just because of the nature of the long wearability of it. But it's just, it's a great, you know, it's a great look. You know, it's a simple, a simple brown, right? Looks good on everyone. There you go. Absolutely love them. Love them. Merrick, if you're watching, please feel free to sponsor me in future because I would love it. Or just send me lots of free shit. I would love that too, even more actually. It's really, really good. It really is. Thanks so much for watching, appreciate it. I can't even see, where's my glasses? I don't know where they are, but I'm sure it looks great. See you next time, bye-bye.